Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol NPTN. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I'll let you this time for Anthony has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but uh, pretty crazy day today. Um, overall, it, the, the chart still has a chance, and I'll explain what I mean by that. Um, but as far as today's movement, yeah, it was really all over the place. Price was up there, and then all of a sudden the price you know, started to bleed the rest of the day. But like I said, there's still a chance, and this whole quote unquote uh, chance, this was why I like charts because you can take, you know, sound bites such as chance and actually, uh, you know, put a numerical value next to them. So for me, the, the numer numerical value on chance is right there at $3.75. Meaning, let's see if the price can stay above $3.75. Why is that area important? Well, if the price were to come down here, and then break below and then just continue on down. At that point in time, from a very literal perspective, that would literally be putting the price right back inside of that area of the chart where it was near the lows. And not to insult your intelligence, but when price movements go back to where they were, not exactly a sign of true strength. Whereas on the flip side of things, maybe the price comes down here still. However, in this situation, it behaves like that before starting to work its way back upwards. Now, what would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right there. You'd have those lows down there. If you envision each one of those as stair steps, well, hey, now you'd have stair steps progressing in the upward direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's gonna make progress forward. So again, that quote unquote progress point is right there at 375. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, as far as more so that overarching level to keep an eye on, that's gonna be that purple line there, the 50 period, simple moving average, keyword being moving. So as the week continues to play out, this line will move its way downwards and get more and more relevant. And you can actually see right there uh, uh, the prime example of it acting as resistance. I'm not saying it can't, you know, the price can't break above that level or anything. I'm just saying that traditionally speaking, as far as the world of charts is concerned, usually the price really does need to bring its A game if it's going to be able to fight above those sorts of moving averages. So we'll see what happens with it. Um, but yeah, a bounce is still underway, but it's still a, a matter of can the price chip away with those higher bases. And again, that higher base being right up around 375. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.